Hi, this is a second video in a small series about upgrading the FCB 1010 with the LG FCB Upgrade Kit. Uh, you can see this kit laying on the table. It's an electronics board, which is actually also the engine for the Gorgeous product line. Then you also see a small replacement board for the MIDI connectors. The two standard MIDI connectors of the FCB are replaced by one. 7 pins MIDI connector which also provides phantom power if needed and a USB connector. The kit also contains a new firmware EEPROM for the FCB 1010 but that one we already installed in a first video. So let's move on now and install the electronics. We will start by replacing the small MIDI connector board. So the two standard MIDI connectors will be replaced by one MIDI and one USB connector. First we unplug the original boards, but again there is some hot glue which keeps the connector in place, so we have to remove that first before we can unplug it. There we go. And then just remove the two black screws, but don't lose them because we are going to use them for the new board too. And now as you see there is still a small ground wire too connected to the board so we just cut that one in order to remove the original board. Now we can mount a new one which fits on that same place using the same black screws. The MIDI connector to the right, the USB connector to the outside. And just tighten the two screws as firmly as you can. Next, the main board. Here I am almost removing the wrong screw, so it's the two other screws which need to be removed first. We will install two special plastic spacers on those two locations, as you will see in a minute. Again, don't lose the screws because we reuse them. And we don't tighten this screw for this moment because we will first try out the position of the new board in order to have the two spaces positioned correctly. Now I remove two of the nuts which hold the FCB board in place and we will replace these two nuts with the two hex spacers which are part of the upgrade kit and which will be used to mount the main electronics board. There we go, these two spacers can be tightened firmly right from the start. Now what I do now is just position the main board at uh, four long screws in the mounting holes only to position the those two white plastic spaces correctly. So once they are in the correct position I remove the board again and then I can uh, firmly tighten those two 
the spacers and then we're ready to install the boards completely. So here I'm just tightening two white spacers. And then the main board goes on again. And now it's for real. Okay, firmly attached. What's next? A uh, few cables. First one is connecting the USB from the connector to the main board. Don't worry, you can't put them in the wrong direction. It's just one choice. Same for the next cable, which carries MIDI in, MIDI out, and phantom power if you use phantom power. And then next to this 8 pins connector, we have a 4 pins connector which we use for the last long cable. So here you have to pay attention because there are two 4 pins connectors on the main board. Use the one next to the 8 pins connector. And at the other end, we plug this cable in the SCB 1010 board where we unplug the original uh, MIDI connector board. Next is power. We will cut the two yellow wires which carry power inside the FCB 1010 and we will lead that power to the main board. So I'm now measuring about 3 inches, 7.5 centimeter, and that's the length where I cut the two wires. Now I will strip the four loose ends. You can do that just with a knife or with an appropriate tool if you have one. And these four wires now need to be connected to that green connector on the main board. So we will start with the two shortest ends, which will connect to the two rightmost contacts of that connector. We can just um, yeah, make sure you don't have loose strands or how is it called. You can simply push those wires into the contacts. Here I'm grabbing the wrong tool. Just take a small screwdriver, uh, push, and then you can enter the wire in. Um, in the contacts. I'm pulling the wire to see if it's a really good connection. Um, it doesn't matter which, in which order you connect the two wires because this is uh, AC. There's no polarity, so it doesn't matter. Just make sure you take the two rightmost contacts. Then the two other wires need to be connected to the next two contacts, but of course they are too short, so that's why I added uh, a piece of wire to the upgrade kit, which we just push into the contact again. You have to push firmly because the wire is rather thick. And of course, if you are able to use a soldering iron, you can do all this uh, a lot neater. But uh, I wanted to offer a possibility to connect everything without soldering iron. So these uh, extensions allow you to connect the two other ends of the yellow wires. You just pinch the connector, put the wire in, and it will be firmly attached. Pulling it to make sure everything's okay. 
and now we can try to hide those uh, big connectors and attach them with a small strap to the mechanics of the housing. Again, if you are able to use a, a soldering iron, you'll be able to do this all uh, a bit cleaner. And apparently you should use better tools than I do to cut uh, plastic. And actually this is already the finishing touch. It's, uh, it completes the upgrade. All we need to do now is test and see if uh, everything went alright. Also what you see here, this configuration is, as you understand, using the internal power supply of the FCB1010. Um, you can also use phantom power which is entering the unit through a 7 pins MIDI connector and then you don't even need to make the connection which you see now which goes to the internal transfer of the FCB1010 ok ready for testing now we will apply power to the unit and what we should see is all those small green nets go on and the display should show 00, zero which is the first bank being selected and if that's OK, we have uh, concluded our update. Et voilà.